This is how you can host your Discord bot online 24-7 for free, so let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and click the link in the description below to get to this website, and then go ahead and click get started. It's going to have you accept this invite to the Discord server, so just go ahead and accept. Once you're in the Discord server, you have to go ahead and create an account here. So just go ahead and do slash new. In here, it's going to go ahead and have you put in all of your information. So I'm going to put this in after, but for me, I'm just going to do tutorial, and I'm going to do yes. And then go ahead and put in your email. Once you create the account here in the Discord, it's going to say that a verification email was sent. Just go ahead and open that email and confirm your account. After confirming it, it's going to go ahead and bring you here. So just go ahead and return to the Discord. It is going to go ahead and edit the message saying that everything has been set up. So go ahead and go back to the website. Back in the website, just go ahead and go to the top and click panel. Now go ahead and click login with Discord and log in. Then once you're here, it's going to go ahead and authorize on its own and it's going to bring you to the panel. So just go ahead and click on the server right here and it is going to bring you to the console. All right, so step one is getting all of your files uploaded to the console. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to minimize this tab and we're going to go ahead and minimize Discord and we're going to go ahead and open up the bot's file. If you're coding your bot on Replit or some other online site, just go ahead and download all of your Replit files and put it into a new folder on your desktop. Before we continue, I just want to say that I have coded two Discord bots. Both are available for you to invite to your Discord servers. One is SK and one is Server Manager. SK does all of the essential moderation commands and Server Manager has logs, staff apps, and even join logs which are very very useful as you can see i can ban people and kick people if i think their account is suspicious we are trying to grow both of these bots so if you could invite them to your servers that would be amazing links will be in the description and let's go ahead and get back into hosting your discord bot after you have everything that you need in one file just go ahead and create a new folder make it a compressed zip folder and just give it a name like tutorial zip or something like that then just go ahead and open it up now you're going to go ahead and drag everything from your actual folder into your zip folder after that that, you can go ahead and close out of both then you can go ahead and open up the console again and click files at the top i'm going to go ahead and move this to the side so i can actually drag the zip in here but we can just go ahead and drag it into the files once it's in here we can go ahead and make this bigger again and i'm just going to go ahead and click on the three dots and click on archive now I'm going to go ahead and delete everything I don't need, but make sure you do have all the essential files so this will work. Alright, go back to your console at the top, and once you're here, go ahead and click install packages. Go ahead and click continue, and as you can see, it's going to say it is running the installer. So just give it a few minutes, you may need to reload the browser if it doesn't already. Like I said before, you may need to reload your browser for the installer to actually finish. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go to startup, and as you can see, there is a startup command. So for the startup command, I'm just going to go ahead and type node space dot because I am using node.js. You're going to want to put in your startup command for whatever you are using, like if you're using Python, you would use whatever you're using for Python, but I'm using node.js, so it is going to be node space dot. Then after that, we can go into the console and as soon as I click start basically what's going to happen is it's going to run node space dot so it's going to act like if I were to run node space dot in the terminal on my computer so I'm going to go ahead and click start and as you can see it's going to load and then it's going to run the startup command and it's going to go ahead and run node space dot turning the bot on over in the discord server we can see that the bot is actually online and I have no files open on my computer if I go ahead and run test I think I have a test command yeah if I run test the bot is going to be working and yeah now this is going to give you 400% of CPU it is going to give you a lot of RAM and storage and all of that stuff if you need help with anything like this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we will be able to help you out and with that I will see you guys in the next video